Since you need to disassemble it to properly clean the manifold, right now is a good time to test your uh, electronic parts that help control the uh, fuel injection. Um, this one here is a vacuum switching valve that is uh, temperature dependent. Coolant does run through here and vacuum will go in and out of these two ports depending on the temperature of the coolant on the inside. The smaller one here is actually the temperature sender for the ECU itself. This is what tells the computer what the engine is running. Um, this is not the one that controls the gauge. This only tells the computer how hot the engine really is and the coolant temperature of it. This bigger one here, normally that is a brown connector, is the one that uh, will turn the cold start injector off and on. And uh, right now what we'll do, is since we're going to clean the manifold fully, we need to pull the plastic pieces out since we're going to put it in a jet tank. Or if you're doing it also, if you're going to clean it yourself, best to take off these uh, uh, parts that uh, could possibly break while you're cleaning them. So right now we're going to pull them out and then I'll show you how to test them before we uh, clean the manifold. These two here have copper O-rings behind them, so when you pull them off, make sure that you keep them with each one. Uh, I'd recommend buying new ones if you can, but the best part to do is to match them up when you go to buy them to the exact size. If you have a bench grinder, you can use the fine wire wheel. Make sure it's the, the one that is fine and uh, nothing more than that or else you will start scoring up all of this material that's on here. Um, if you don't have a bench grinder with a fine wheel on it, you can use a scotch Bright pad or you can use a uh, wire brush to clean them. Um, just be careful. Make sure everything is uh, uh, fine material so that way you don't take off too much of it. Now we'll test the big uh, sending unit for the cold start injector. It's the larger of the two in the front of the intake manifold. Uh, right now I'm going to put it on my test connector. Now it's connected to a ohm meter. And as you can see right now it's reading about uh, 30 and a half ohms. Which when you check it. It's about 65 degrees or so, about room temp as it is right now. So we'll add some hot water to it and we'll watch the gauge go up. Should hit uh, after uh, about uh, 105 degrees, should go between 40 and 60 ohms. Now the EFI temp center, the one that works for the computer, not the one for the gauge, at about 68 degrees, it's showing about uh, 2,300 ohms. 
and what we'll do is uh, put some temperature on it right now it's in range put some 180 degree water on it I can see it's about uh, about 400 ohms, maybe a little bit less.